Okay, now I'm here. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Verbling. I'm Teacher Oakley. Hello, hello. Uh, sorry for the slightly late start. I had a little technical difficulty. It seems I timed out at Verbling, and I was not signed into Verbling when I started the Hangout. So anyway, I was. So I spent the last five minutes talking to myself. <laughs> in a Google Hangout, but I'm here now. Uh, hello, hello, welcome to the class. Uh, Ishmael, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, how are you? I'm doing okay. I'm tired. It's late. I'm gonna stay up past my bedtime. <laughs> what time is it in? Uh, it's not that late, really. It's it's ten o'clock at night. But I go to bed early. Anyway, anyway, I'm here now. Hello. Oh, who's that? Wow. It's my son. Okay. okay. Hello. Hi there. <laughs> Cute. Okay. Uh, hello, Eduardo. Welcome to the class. Nice to see you. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, here in Spain at uh, 10 p.m. we we I think it's my time to have dinner. 10 p.m. Your time to have dinner. Oh, <laughs> really? Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, I'm feeling a little under the weather today, so I haven't had dinner yet, Eduardo. So uh, I may have a bite to eat after class. As a matter of fact, I'll just I'll have something Spanish in your honor. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, welcome to the class, Michael. Thank you. Hello, teacher Oakley. Why am I not sleeping? I don't know, Michael. <laughs> I Ten o'clock you will be and uh, so when will be uh, when is eleven o'clock you will be ending the class, yeah? Yeah, it'll be eleven o'clock when I end the class, that is correct. Yeah, it's a little late for me here at Verbling. But uh, frankly I have a private one-on-one -on -one student every day at nine o'clock except Sundays which I try to take off not always but uh, so I figured why not I'll stay up an hour later tonight um, anyway so here I am and uh, what we're gonna do uh, we are going to practice uh, talking about uh, we're gonna practice our English giving explaining rules explaining objective maybe even explaining process we're gonna do that in the context of explaining a game any kind of game or sport with the objective of the game how do you win uh, what are the base at least the basic rules um, and uh, how does the flow of the game go okay now I am not gonna I could spend the entire class talking to you, explaining baseball to you, American baseball, but you would probably still not understand it when I was done with the hour. <laughs> so, um, you know, don't go too crazy with a really, try to think of a more simple kind of game and uh, don't, you know, American baseball is complicated. For example, uh, so you might want to choose a children's game that you played when you were young or you might want to choose it would be great if you guys could think of games that were uh, native to your country okay uh, I, 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 I hope an Italian comes here so they can explain bocce ball I would be excited if that happened um, I would be explaining my... uh, yeah I would be explaining chess Chess. Chess, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh thanks, could, Michael. <laughs> My I used to be a very good player in chess well, when I was children. You can if you yeah. want to. But just, you know, uh, realize that you're going to have time constraints. You're not going to get into the uh, grand <laughs> master chess moves. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In 1969, Karapov moved his pawn to the Queen Bishop's Four. Yeah, that, that's not going to happen. Okay, uh, for example, uh, I'm going to explain a game that children play. In, just to get, give you an idea, I'll start very briefly. I'll give you an example. Uh, by explaining a game that children play, 
in uh, in the United States on the playground during recess break time. Uh, it's called Red Rover. Have any has anybody ever heard of Red Rover? No. What did you say during a recess? What during recess? recess, right? Recess is the favorite time of the day for most American children. That's when you're allowed to go run around outside for 10 or 15 minutes and, uh, you know, go crazy. Exactly. It's, it's, okay. actually, it's actually very funny because we use, normally we use break time to talk about taking a little time off at work. You go on a, you have a coffee break, a cigarette break, a lunch break. Okay, we normally in English use break for that at work. Uh, however, school children, elementary school or primary school, however you want to say it, it's called recess. And the funny thing is, the only other kind of job that gets recess is the government. Is uh, actually Congress gets recess, <laughs> which I find to be very funny and ironic, but anyway, because they act like children. Uh, anyway, let me explain Red Rover. I guess no one's ever heard of it. Uh, after I say hello to Ava. Hi, Ava. How are you? Ava, are you there? Mic check. Mic check. Hi, Ava. All right, I'll try it again later. Uh, okay, let me explain Red Rover. All right, here is the game. Okay, the background. Many children play this during recess. Uh, the game is extremely simple. <laughs> Basically, uh, the children break up into two teams of equal numbers. So it doesn't matter how many players there are. If there's 12 players, 6 players on a team. If there's 20 players, 10 players on a team. Uh, to an infinite an amount of players, frankly. Uh, and here's how you play. The, uh, the, the children line up on two sides, and each child holds the child's hand next to him. Okay, so I, I'm holding someone's hand here, and I'm holding someone's hand here. We're holding each other's hands tightly. And we will say... Uh, we will decide who we're, we will strategize, we will decide who we want to send over. And uh, the children will chant all at the same time, Red Rover, Red Rover, send Julio right over. And Julio will run as fast as he can and try to break through, uh, break through the hands of Whoever, whoever he thinks he can get through, the, whoever he thinks is the weakest link. So he will try to break through. If he cannot break through, then he is captured by that team. If he can break through, he can pick one of the two people that he broke through, their hands, and take them back with him. So another strategy is to break through where you think it's very difficult so you can capture one of the stronger players on the other team. The game progresses thus with each team taking turns. Red Ro this team, the blue team, Red Rover, Red Rover, send Michael right over. He tries the result and team the other team, team B, uh, does the same thing. P play continues until one team is totally gone is reduced to one person obviously because they can't you can't hold your own hand <laughs> and that's it that is the playground game Red Rover that's it okay now you guys a follow-up question about this game sure can you use for breaking through for breaking through can you use uh, like a knife <laughs> no <laughs> absolutely okay. not this is a children's game. This is a game that probably usually would be eight, nine, ten-year-olds, for example. Uh, okay. No, no no weapons on the school ground, please. Okay. Uh, so, 
welcome to the class, Giuseppe. Nice to see you again. Hello, Hi, teacher. Giuseppe. How are you? Fine, fine, thank you. Okay. And you? Uh, I'm okay. Okay. A little, a little tired, but I'm okay. Hello, Julio. M morning. Morning? Did I say morning, Julio? Hello, teacher. Yeah, it's uh, 9 a.m. Nine. Okay. Uh, good. Quarter past nine, yeah. Okay. Well, good morning. Um, okay. Now uh, let's have you guys try it out. Um, Michael. Um, uh, oh, actually, let's start with Ishmael. He was he was the first one in the class. Ishmael, you get the honor since you were first. Uh, what game would you like to explain to us? I think, but I couldn't find any uh, game of the to explain. Don't you have any games in Turkey? What do you? What do people play in Turkey? There are lots of games, but. Uh, you want to think about it some more? Yes. I, I can give you some more time. No problem. Okay. Sure, uh, Michael. Okay. So I am going to describe the game chess. It's a well-known game. I think everyone from the class knows this game. So chess game. It's a game with uh, there in the game in the chess game there are two colors of uh, chess pieces. It's white and black. And um, the name of the pieces are king, queen, two, one king, one queen, two rooks, two bishops, two knights, and eight pawns. So uh, first, uh, and there is a table. I don't know how many squares there. Sixty-four. That table. Sixty-four. Okay. And uh, the, the squares are black and white, and black and white, and they are. Uh, like uh, black, white, black, white, black, white. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The way it's going. And uh, uh, first starts uh, the the game. First starts uh, white pieces. The white team. The white player. And you move your pawn. Uh, no, no. Um, a, a classic move is uh, with a pawn, but you can move uh, your knight, for example, for a first move. Other pieces you cannot move. And the pawns go only straight in front. Like an, uh, only straight. And uh, other uh, pieces, they have other kind of moves. To describe the moves. I don't have the vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> so goes head, back, forward, uh, uh, right, uh, left, uh, all directions. For example, the queen goes uh, all directions, and uh, the, um, the 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 aim of the game is to put a mat or what? What, what is the how do I, how do you call that? Uh, the aim of the you... game to mat mat me mate. Mate. mate yeah so to put or what do you do you are put the king in checkmate yeah yeah yes. to put yeah, the king you, in you... checkmate so uh, how do you do that uh, like the classic strategy is to uh, try to take um, more pieces from the opponent from uh, from your opponent to take more pieces to try to take more pieces like pawns like uh, knights like uh, this kind of pieces and uh, after you kind of uh, take half of them of his his or her pieces with whom you play you you become more stronger you become stronger and you are capable to 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 win the game by checkmate okay 
<laughs> All right. The most important, the most important piece in this game is obviously queen. The queen is the most like um, functional, functional. Uh, uh, piece. I mean, okay. uh, Very good. it goes in all, all directions, so you uh, you're quite flexible. And uh, what else can I say? What did I miss about the game? Nothing. But I might argue that the important, most important piece is the king. Uh, okay. Protect. But uh, I, but I mean, in the terms added. of. It's okay. You added. You said is the most flexible. But you, yeah, the you, most. You clarified it. That's yeah. Okay. You got it. Um, what? Let me let me a little feedback. Michael, okay. uh, pronunciation opponent. It it has middle syllable stress. Opponent. Op opponent. Opponent. Yeah. Mm hmm Excellent. Uh, when describing the board, perhaps you could say it ha it has a uh, alternating black and white squares in a checked pattern. So that that pattern a chessboard has. For example, if you have a shirt or clothing, oh, he has a checked shirt. Okay. okay. Is that is or a checked pattern? Um, also, um, when you're describing the queen's movements, okay, back, forward, left, right, up, down, sure, but you forgot about diagonal. Diagonal, yeah. The direction that the bishops also can travel in a okay. diagonal. Okay, but uh, overall. Considering, without getting into the drastic, uh, <laughs> you know, strategies or anything, which is not what we're trying to do here, not, not bad. Good job. All right. Okay. So, Michael, describe the equipment. If there's any equipment, in my example, there was no equipment. I should have stated that, actually. Um, okay. Good job. Uh, Eduardo. Yeah. What do you got? Yes. Yes, I'm here. Do you have any great Spanish games that we should know about? Yes, why not? I'm going to try to explain cool. a game, great. but I'm not going to say the name, so maybe... Oh, great. You okay. know about it. <laughs> okay. Good idea. This game, it comes from romance, and it's played a lot in Italy, France, and Spain. I think it's just these three countries is... Uh, really spread this game. A lot of people practice. And usually it's practiced for retired people in parks and in different places at the city. And it requires uh, it's playing with balls. The first ball is a small one and it's a wooden ball. And you have to put it like a ping pong ball similar in, in size and you launch throw this ball around between six and ten meters and each participant has three balls metal balls that they weigh around two pounds so maybe between six hundred and eight hundred grams so less than a kilo and you have three opportunities you can go individually or with teams and you have to launch these metal balls near the wooden, the smaller wooden ball. So uh, you have to reach I think it's 13 points and the way the score works is the closest one get the point and if you had two closest one closest, closest than any other team you have two points in this in this uh, occasion, okay, and you have to play until you reach uh, 13 points. So, you usually people there is maybe two or three teams with a couple, and so you have three three balls, metal balls each, each, and you have to mm. yes throw it, and you you can try to if someone is really close with a ball, if a metal ball is really close to the wooden wall, you have to try to kick the ball and and keep uh, uh, get this position if you can if not the uh, at the end you have you need your team need uh, have a ball closer than any other one to win the game do you know anyone know the name I, of is it bocce bocce i don't bocce. know in english 
the name? Did no. he? No? I don't know. <laughs> What's yes, that? Okay. It is? It is Machia, I think. Is it? Well, the, the name here in Spain is Petanca. Petanca? And I think, yeah, I think better. in English is like... Petanca. Like oh, that in English. Okay, hang on. I, I'm I'm in the verbal chat. <laughs> Patanka, Patanka. Okay, all right. Hmm. Okay. Is it similar to bocce? Does anybody know? It sounds like I don't know how to play bocce. That's why at the beginning of the class I was yes. I was hoping somebody would explain it. Okay, uh, the same game. Uh, same game. Okay. It's played in my country, and uh, the English name of this game. It's Bache, I think. Okay. All right. Thank you for clarifying that. Uh, okay. Now I know how to play. That's great. Um, Eduardo, if I could uh, follow up just a little bit. Uh, um, let me see. Do I? Did I understand this? The most points in one round. It's kind of, you throw all your balls, and that's the end of the round, right? Right. The most points you can get is two points? No. Usually it's one or two because the other people is participating and they can get closest. But maybe if there is two teams uh, and with two people, each one, and you have three balls each one, you can get six points. If oh, okay. If your six balls is closer than any, any other one, you know? But that's now I get impossible. It. That's not realistic. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So usually one or two points, but it is possible to get as many points as you have balls. Exactly. Yes. Ah, thank you very much. Okay. Very simple. I totally understand that game now. Uh, cool. Okay. A little. Uh, also, you said it's spread through Europe. Spread through Europe. I, I forgot how you s spread in Europe. Um, it's you could also say it's very widespread. Okay. Why? Okay. Yeah, it's popular in many places. Uh, popular well in known. many places. Yeah. Well known. It's widespread. Um, yeah, a widespread custom, a widespread game. Okay. Um, and last of all, when you, you okay, you're trying to knock your bo opponent's ball away. You said you kick the ball away. You try to push or kick the ball away from the ping pong ball, with a wooden ball. Um, not, you would say... Not with my feet, obviously. Not, not with, with your feet. feet. Yeah. But a better way to say that in English is you try to knock the ball away. Knock the ball away. You, okay. you, 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 you use your ball to knock the opponent's ball away from the wooden ball. Would, that's how we would say it in English. Yeah. yeah. Knock is take kick, because kick is maybe with your foot. Yeah. Right, right, right. Um, okay. Michael thought you were playing dominoes. No. <laughs> <laughs> no from the beginning when he said I it's know. a equal for uh, old people. Like. I know. I just... oh, it's a game, sorry. I know. I'm just picking on you. Hello, Tiago. Welcome. Hi, Tiago. Hello. Hey, Hello. Oakley. Hey, Oakley. What's new? Hey, can you hear me? I can. I can hear you now. Loud and now oh, I can. My computer. My computer is crazy. Back. How are you? I am doing okay. Uh, joining you kind of late for me, but hey, I'll have to leave it up to you guys to keep me awake here for the next half hour. Uh, yeah, that's. Yeah. I'm surprised at this time. Yeah, it's not normal for me. But anyway, um, Giuseppe, uh, Giuseppe's going to go next. Tiago, I'll, I'll get with you later. What we're doing, we're, ta we're taking turns explaining games. Um, even better if you can come up with a game that is kind of uh, a game that's played in your in your country or your region. Be great. Or children's games; those are fun to learn. Or, or any kind of game that you enjoy. Uh, okay. Right. Okay, Giuseppe. Okay, teacher. Yeah. I'm ready, teacher. Uh, I described uh, my favorite game. Okay. 
اوكي ماي فافوريت جيم از فوتبول سوتشر اوكي اوكي اند فوتبول سوتشر ذير ار تو تيم اوف ذات فاي جيم ويز ذا بول on the in the in the rectangular area and usually uh, usually is a grass uh, the floor is a grass and um, uh, the, uh, the every player in the in the soccer uh, can uh, Uh, take uh, can um, shot uh, can uh, touch uh, the ball uh, uh, with uh, with the with your legs, but uh, don't uh, touch uh, um, never with your hands and your arms. Uh, the target of this game is. Uh, 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 The bring bring the ball uh, to into inside the door uh, of a positive uh, door. Uh, the team of positive <laughs> door. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about door there, Giuseppe. Door. Uh, <laughs> the door with the network. Okay. Uh, <laughs> in English, we just say uh, the goal. Okay. Yes, but I don't. I don't know what is the the name of door gates. in the football search. Gates. Gates. Um, like goal gates. No, actually, goal posts. You you put it inside the goal posts. You can uh, say. Okay. Each goal side post. is the goal post, and then the top is the crossbar. So it's got to go okay. between the gold post under the crossbar into okay. the net. Yeah, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank okay. You. Also, Giuseppe, soccer, a case out. Soccer. Soccer, soccer. that's okay. better. Soccer. Um, yeah. Also, a little English here. Um, you said the, the floor is grass, but floor is usually inside a building. You could say instead. Yeah. Yes. Instead, you might want to say this. Um, whoops. Well, it would help if I could. The surface. The surface. Grass. This. You could say the surface is grass. Ah, okay. Okay. So um, of grass. The surface is grass, because, for example, if you're somebody's talking about tennis, in tennis you you play on. They sometimes they play on clay. Sometimes the surface is grass. Sometimes the surface is asphalt. So yeah, yes. okay. There you yes. go. Uh, okay. okay. I don't know many many words, many millions of words. Okay. No, no many problem. millions. <laughs> no, but many. now you know three more than you knew before. <laughs> okay. Do you play? Every word, every word have uh, many 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 means. Much True. means okay. Many meanings. Meanings. Yes. yes. Very good. Many meanings. Very yes. good. And, and and do you play soccer, Giuseppe? Uh, no, uh, I play the football soccer, but uh, in the the console game I play with the console game. Xbox, with the what? You know what it's the console game console. Oh, console. Oh. <laughs> console, yes. PlayStation. Uh, <laughs> Xbox. Okay. 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 Fine. I, I haven't played for many years. I used to play in high school. But anyway. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Julio. Oh, welcome to class, Ken. Hi, Ken. Yes, hello. Hi, Ken. Nice to see you again. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, okay, Ken, uh, hang on a little bit. We'll get to you. We're we're taking turns describing games. Maybe our favorite game. Maybe a childhood game. Maybe a cultural a game native to your country. Julio, what have you got for us? 
Well, I'm going to describe my favorite game. This game okay. was, uh, well, the rumor has it that this game was invented in Russia. And it's uh, it's kind of a non very common game, but you sh you should play it at least once in your lifetime. Roulette? And, uh, it's nothing roulette. <laughs> actually, you are right, my dear Michael. This is a <laughs> Russian roulette. With a gun or what? <laughs> wow. Okay. What you need for for this game? It's a uh, Revolver. <laughs> a six round revolver would be nice. Mm. And you need one bullet. So okay. what you do first is that you uh, place the bullet in the roulette, uh, sorry, in the revolver cylinder. And then you spin it like a roulette. <laughs> so you have to wait to the cylinder to stop spinning by itself. So you you should not stop it. Then once the once the cylinder has stopped, you place the muzzle against your forehead. Some variations uh Mike suggests to place the muscle in your mouth or uh, <laughs> under your chin. Yeah. I prefer the forehead. Okay. So right. uh, when, when do you win and when do you lose? Can you tell us? Okay, well, I'm, I'm so object, scared. That would be the object of the game, yes. <laughs> Once you place the muzzle against your forehead, you just pull the trigger. And if you only hear a soft click, <laughs> then you can pass the gun to the other player. OK? <laughs> then uh, the other player uh, should only, he, he cannot spin the cylinder again. He just have to put the muzzle, place the muzzle against his head. and pull the trigger once again. Oh, really? He doesn't get another spin? No, he doesn't get another spin. That sounds the like original. Mexican, that's the Mexican rules if I have ever heard them. <laughs> no, no, no. That is the original Russian oh, really? roulette rules. Okay. Yeah, because if you if everybody gets a spin, then the game might last, I don't know, indefinitely number of hours. <laughs> <laughs> Let's <And then>. hope so. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Actually, um, if the gun it's uh, properly maintained, uh, the the cylinder might always stop with the bullet uh, in the bottom of the cylinder mm -hmm. because All of the weight right. of the bullet. So. There is a chance that the favor my uh, sorry that the chances my favor someone in particular in the game yeah. because the you, the, the you bullet want, is always gonna wind you don't up in be the same third point. for example <laughs> yeah you just don't want to be third it's not a good place to be uh, okay that the place where you play put a bullet into the gun that round slot or hole is called the chamber. All right. You put a bullet in the chamber. All right. Chamber. You have a six six chamber revolver. Okay. And also, Julio, be careful of um, spin. For some reason you're adding a vowel sound, like S spin. Just Ah just yeah, spin. Yeah, that's true. yeah, I do that a lot, you know the sound for my native language. Difficult to say spin. I know. I have to say it's been. You, but you can do it because you just did it. But okay, uh, thank you for that. Uh, I'll run right out and try that game immediately. I can't wait. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would love to try, but I don't have a gun. Oh uh, yeah.
I'm not sure if I should have a fire gun like for that. Try it with a potato gun to warm up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's only one chamber in a potato gun. <laughs> Pretty much. So what's, uh, your with a what's the difference between the chamber and the cylinder? Uh, uh, nothing. Nothing. Um, you can call it the cylinder. Uh, but more often in English, it's pre it's usually called the chamber. It, it's just, I understood immediately. I understood what you meant when you said cylinder. Uh, but it's more common to call it the chamber. One in the chamber. Uh, okay, uh, Ishmael, are, are you ready? Do, have you thought of one? Yes. Yes. Uh, okay, I am ready. Very I good. To, I want to. Talk about a marble game which I uh, used to play many times when I was a kid. Maybe okay. uh, it is played in everywhere around the world in many different uh, types. Mm -hmm. uh, we need a marble and a stick to play this game. It's a uh, outside uh, game. We can play it with uh, a real friend, or uh, we can play uh, more than two people this game. We mm -hmm. uh, mark a short line on a flat surface. Uh, with the stick uh, before we start the game or play and we use this uh, short line uh, for put putting marble which we are going to risk in this game every player for example we decide we are going to play for two marble every player uh, should put two marble on the short line on the uh, surface on the flight surface and we are going to mark a long uh, line on the surface and between the short line and long line it should be uh, 10 feet the players are going to be behind the uh, long line on uh, on the surface and try to hit the uh, head marble, which is on the left side uh, on the uh, short line. Okay. Every player uh, hit one time and try to hit the uh, head marble. If anybody hit the uh, head marble, he can win all of the marble. But you can hit uh, any marble on the line if you, for example, hit uh, a marble in the middle you can win uh, the middle marble and the right side marble for example there are 10 marble on the short line if you hit uh, the uh, fifth marble you can win uh, the fifth marble and the right side marble too. Ah, okay. And if there is no marble on the short line, uh, you can start again the game. Okay, you can start the game again. Okay. Played a lot, a lot of... Did you play a lot of marbles when you were young? 
Did yes, you know? I have. Uh, I had many marbles. I I was uh, very good uh, at this game, and I wanted to play every time with my friend a uh, marble game. Okay. Uh, follow up question: Ismail, have you ever lost your marbles? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sign. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, I gotcha. Okay, just check it. Okay, I'm I'm joking with Ismail, of course, because this is a common idiom. Okay, you he lost his marbles, or someone loses his marbles. It's an idiom or expression for crazy, woo, going going crazy. All right, you lose your marbles. Uh, okay. Um, all right, you're describing marbles, and you said there's many types of the game. Okay, probably a, a better way to express that is there are many variations, slightly yes. different rules. Yes. Especially for games, many variations. Okay, definitely. And um, I think it was better the second time you said it, but talking uh, pronunciation flat. 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 Okay, it's fine. Flat. The, the first time you said it, yeah, it sounded like flat, like an ah, uh, like a ah uh, sound, like father. But it's definitely the ah, uh, flat, like cat. Flat. Flat. Fat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, very good, Ishmael. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Tiago. Are you ready? You're back now? Yes? Tiago? Yes, you... if my okay. computer holds up. Me. You're playing the Okay. will the computer let me play game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, if you would be so kind, enlighten us with the objective, the rules, and the basic play of some kind of game, a childhood game, a a game in your country, uh, your favorite game, whatever. All right. So, you know, Brazil is a pretty wide country, right? It's more like uh, we have different countries in this one. And there is a very interesting game played by the Indians from north of Brazil. Name is um, Enawene Nawe, and it's like their soccer. Uh, they play, in fact, they extract the latex from the trees, uh, you know, it, it, and it, it becomes rubber, and they make like a, a rubber ball from it. Then they play it like uh, in pairs. They uh, just lay the ball in a little sand mountain, not in a mountain, but in a little sand Oh, well, I don't know how to do that. A mound? Mountain, you know what I mean? Uh, a mound? Oh, right, a mount. Yeah, mound yeah. of sand. It's like a penalty, you know? A penalty in soccer. Mm -hmm. But okay. instead of playing with their feet, they play with their heads. So it's like they have to dive into the sand <laughs> and kick with their heads. <gasps> yeah, it's very <pretty> nuts. <laughs> Yeah, if if you don't know how to play it, you can easily break your neck. <laughs> you know? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. It's it's pretty amazing, you know. And uh, they play it. It's wow. like a competition, a tribe competition. So they have their champion like Cristiano Ronaldo or Messi in this sport. And uh, so when they win this game. They can have uh, prizes such as women and uh, such as women. Eat the others. Yep. And they can pick one one person from the other tribe and eat their heart, his or her. Oh, heart. Okay. No, this, this part, I'm, no, no, I'm creating this part. That part <laughs> of the women. <laughs> All right. It was getting interesting. Yeah. It was getting interesting. Wait a minute. There's, there's women in the heart eating. Far out. 
So that was creation. But yeah, until part women was right. So they can really? have uh, yeah. They can they can have they can pick their wives. Wow. That's it. Okay. Well that's again, that's what is the name of this again? Uh, this is uh, in a way, no way. I'm gonna send you the no link. Way, so no way. In a way, no way. Right. In a way, no way. Yeah. It sounds Hawaiian it's, uh, or something. You know. <laughs> in a way, in a way, in a way, in a way, in a way. In a way. <laughs> okay. I don't know. The 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 video about this kind of game you can watch if you're interested. Okay. In a way, sure. Yeah, I definitely want to. I'll be checking that out. And loading up. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, that was that was very interesting. And the, the surface they play on is sand. I, you said they make a yeah. sand mound. So the, is sand. The, is the game largely played on sand? Yeah. Okay, that helps. Be really difficult if it was played on like uh, asphalt. You imagine like. Yeah, <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it would be tough. Oops. Yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah, and messy, I suspect. Okay, uh, Ken, let's take us across the globe from Brazil and over to Japan. Okay, uh, kind of traditional card game here is called Karuta. I think Carta came from Portuguese, uh, the word Portuguese, probably, because when Port Portuguese came here, they brought some card games, and and, and uh, Carta was invented based on the, the card game. And the rule of Carta is, uh, you know, uh, maybe 50, 50 or cards are spread around the uh, kind of floor, and tatami mat, kind of Japanese-style uh, floor, so uh, it's not muddy actually. <laughs> we put, uh, you know, uh, put uh, wear, put off the shoes in, inside the house. So and people sit down around the cards, and one big part in the, on the card, uh, the kind of short poem is written, and and uh, but uh, that short poem is uh, uh, how can we say? Half part of the short poem, and left half the short poem. A uh, reader reads uh, a, a kind of a part of the short poem in accordance with uh, what reader reads, and uh, you know people touch the card. Usually, it's a kind of famous uh, a short poem, kind kind of haiku, haiku poem. So, yeah. Uh, people remember uh, such kind of short poem. Uh, that's a rule of Karuta. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. I'm confused. Okay, wait a second. All right, so you... So it doesn't matter how many people you gather around on a tatami mm -hmm. mat and you spread the cards around in, the, in front of you, upside yeah. down so you can't see. Ah uh, no, I, we can see the cards. Ah, uh -huh. but uh, you know, in order to touch a card, we need to memorize the poem, short poem, short hike poem. Ah, okay. So, kind of, we have to match the what leader leads the first part of the poem, and we need to, you know, find where is the uh, kind of uh, last half of the poem's card. Uh -huh. Okay, interesting. It's like advanced memory game, or something. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Okay, where where did you where would you play this typically? Usually in a New Year's Day in the, on the tatami mat room. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Interesting. All right, New Year's Day. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um. Uh, very interesting. Michael, are there any games that in your country are played only on a, a holiday? I um, presume there 
I presume there are definitely, but um, I'm not really into games or something, because, for example, I cannot describe you like any children uh, for ch games for children because I don't remember them. I used to play them, but nowadays I'm Kids. quite old. Yeah, I'm quite old. quite old. Yeah, okay. I don't play, and I, I don't know, you know, honestly. But okay. surely they are, and the holiday games maybe, and everyday games. It would it be uh, okay? You're not that into it, but uh, yeah. uh, in your country, would it be normal to see people playing games, uh, whatever, hanging out outside their house, playing chess in the park, or mm. on the sidewalk, or playing cards? Uh, definitely, I've seen that. Uh, like um, elderly people, they playing domino. They are playing chess, checkers. They may play. Yeah, for sure, they might play in um, parks. Um, like, mm. but usually, uh, like young people, they usually they are riding bikes, either or playing football or uh, what else? Uh, uh, do, what is the name on the? On their like foot, on their leg, on their foot, they have like uh, um, a boot with uh, with wheels. What, what is that? <laughs> uh, skating, inline skating. Skating, but on the both uh, feet. Uh, you have inline skating, skateboarding, and rollerblade. Skateboarding. Rollerblade. Thank you, Tiago. Rollerblading. rollerblading. Yeah, I presume yes. So um, there's like uh, very popular the uh, young people they go. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, have you ever seen those guys who go down? Uh, you're reminding me rollerblading, and uh, actually, I have this question for everyone: Has anybody ever seen those guys that they they race? It's basically a racing game, and they lie on a basically like a giant skateboard. <laughs> Uh, it's very long, and they they're going very fast, and they try to. They, it's like luge is what it is, but not in the ice or snow. They do it in the on the street. Basically, it's luge. They lie down fat and flat and try to be uh, try to go as fast as they can. Obviously, have you ever seen that, Tiago? Have you ever seen that? Yeah, I guess so. If it's like they they go down on a on a on a mountain or in a hill. Yeah, yeah. On, on yeah, I've seen the end of they they control it with their feet. Yes, I think so. I've never yeah. done it, so I don't know exactly <laughs> how they do that. But I yeah, I'm too old for that. I don't heal up that well anymore. Okay. Uh, Eduardo, is it common in Spain to see people playing games like um, in a outside at a restaurant or anything like that? Yes, of course. Uh, yeah. People here play a lot of card games and domino, chess, okay. and in parks, like you said. Uh, there is right. a lot of kids playing with. There is even tracks uh, for bicycle yeah, and roller skate. Yeah, they like to jump uh -huh. yeah, in a concrete surface with uh, different steers. I don't know how to say it. Yeah. Like a skate park? Is that weird? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I like that, yeah. Um, yeah, it's very here where I live here in the Philippines. It's very common to see people. They just set up a table right on the street, start playing cards, or sometimes mahjong. Here is popular. You never see dominoes here, but card games and mahjong games here. In the United States, basically, when if you you can if you're going out at night drinking alcohol for example you can you go to you can go to a nightclub and see a band or to go dancing or you could just go to a bar you go to a bar basically you're playing games you're playing darts you're playing pool you're playing maybe dice maybe um, maybe a different kind of card game where it's two people called cribbage have you ever heard of cribbage 
Has anybody, anybody, an open question for the class. Has anybody no. here ever heard of Cribbage? No? No, nope, never. I don't know where this game is from, but really, okay. It's a fun game. It's a great game. You, you have a, a board with 120 holes, actually 240 holes, and you play... You play, you play, you peg, you use pegs to keep score. So there's two tracks of 120 holes. Or, what? what? Is less word? Can, can, can I type this less word? I think I misunderstood. Holes? Holes? It's, oh. a, it's a little wooden board, and you use little pegs. Pegs. Oh, wooden, right. wooden pegs. You use the pegs to keep score, to tally up your score, because you're constantly scoring points by playing the cards. So the it's a great thought, game. It's really fun. The way I thought would be funnier. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I think I know it. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, uh, gentlemen, thanks for discussing games, and thanks for... Uh, explaining some of those to me. That was you guys all did a great job. Uh, but it's now nighty night time for Teacher Oakley. So, all right, River Dirty. See you guys. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right.